Hey everybody, how's it going? Tonight we are returning to a challenge stream because I finally decided to put down the beast that was Gears Tactics. And for the longest of the times, I really wanted to return back and play some Battalion Wars because I love this game. It's one of my all-time favorite games, and of course, you know, it's like kind of the theme that goes with my channel, both here and on YouTube. Eh, to a degree. A lot of people still really like the Battalion Wars LP, even though part of me kind of wishes I could go back and maybe redo it, because uh, old videos of mine, A, didn't look as good as they somewhat do now, and B, I just, uh, uh, it's during the dark times of my years. But hey, uh, tonight we're going to be doing a special challenge stream. We are going to attempt to beat the game playing only as a rifle grunt. Uh, if those are you who are new to the series, the rifle grunts are basically the backbone characters. They're the all-rounders, they basically are only good against, like, other infantry units and are garbage basically with everything else. I also believe they're the weakest units in the entire game, so, of course, I'm going to be put at a very big disadvantage. And, you know, as well, I, I can't really do much damage in terms of, or I guess I should say, I can't really move as fast as I really could if I was, like, in a vehicle or... With the veteran units, but even though I feel like the veteran units are slightly faster than the grunts. Now, those of you who have played this game are going to be asking, Well, hey, aren't there missions that involve you having to forcibly drive a vehicle and such for some of them? <laughs> Call sign Eagle. <laughs> Operation POW. And to that, I say yes. For the longest time, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do uh, for this challenge. Because I know there's like scripted vehicle segments in this game. And I came up with this little alternative. I can, when it's a required vehicle segment, I, well, I have to play as the vehicle, duh. However, I can't attack and I can't uh, do any damage to any enemy. So, like, say during Operation POW, if I bump a Tundring unit, then I'm going to have to reload a checkpoint because... Uh, and that's going to be really fun when I have to try and escape through the forest. But yeah. That's how the challenge is going to go. I'm going to see if I can actually beat the entire game playing nothing but a rifle grunt. I can still control the other units, and I can still issue commands to the stronger units in the battalion. Hopefully this will go well, and hopefully it does not, you know, fail miserably and turn into a burning pile. But we'll see. I really wanted to be more tactical with this game, because even though this is one of my favorite games, the go-to strategy of just blitz your enemies with the best vehicles and weapons and troops kind of does overshadow the, the tactics side of the series. So I wanted to see if I could do it more tactical. Hell, even a part of me wanted to do like a full tactical style uh, challenge stream for this where I can't attack, period. I could swap between whatever units I have, but I have to only take out enemy units by issuing commands to the battalion. Hi, Dragon. Uh, I see you were playing some Ninjala. Give me a minute, I will run countermeasures as soon as the little trailer thing finishes up. Which should be soon. Alright, let's get some countermeasures going. It still feels weird that the title screen does not have any music play during it.
Dragon, thank you so much for the raid. I'm glad I finally opened up the floodgates of Ninjala to you, because it seems like you're now addicted to the game. Also, hey, cool, the the lead dice stuff is finally out. I thought it was yesterday, but I guess it was today. Okay, we already saw this. We don't have to watch it again. Also, hi, Moon. How's it going? All right, uh, right, let's go with B. And let's start a new campaign. But yes, uh, welcome raiders, uh, if you're just joining us, or if you're sticking by for a bit, we are doing a challenge stream where I'm going to attempt to beat this game with using only the grunt unit in my battalion. First place, three or four times, gotten better at the combat. Alright, Moon. Alright. Well, I know for the fact that the Tundran campaign is going to be pretty easy for, like, the first half of it, but then once we get to the Dune Sea, th it's going to pop the, dr uh pop the difficulty clutch up to, like, 11. Also learned how to break weapons. Nice. Alright, let's get into this. The demilitarized zone on the border between the western frontier and the Tundran territory. For months now, the site of an uneasy truce between two mighty armies. This is a waiting game, with both sides primed to retaliate in the event of a preemptive strike. But on this historic day, control of the Tundran Empire passes from the iron grip of Tsar Gorgi into the more progressive hands of his son and heir, Marshal Nova. And with Nova in charge, there are those who dare to whisper that this time, peace might just endure. It's the boys! War is a contact sport, gentlemen. Sack that defensive line. Go, go, go! <laughs> now line up. Damn it, Dragon. Our boys are getting mighty twitchy down there. We got the men, we got the playbook. Where's the the world is changing, Herman. Looks like this truth could last a long, long time. What? You gotta be pulling my pin. But if we have to fight, then fight we shall. In the meantime, the men are getting out of shape. How about we organize a little sortie to perk up their spirits? A field exercise? Hmm. With live ammo, of course. Teddy, I like the way you think. Dragon, please, at least wait until we actually lose troops in the game before you start wasting them in the chat. <laughs> at least give them a fighting chance. I feel like you already have a battalion's worth of troops you can waste with your points. Come in, Commander. This is Brigadier Betty speaking. Yeah. It's starts. <laughs> has chosen you to carry out a recon mission along our border with the Tundran territories. It's been a while since your battalion saw combat, so I'm going to be putting you through your paces before you head out on patrol. How did you waste 20k? Welcome to the Oh jeez. Take out all the target dummies and show me you've got the right stuff for this patrol. Lock on to one of the targets, then move in any direction and press the B button to execute a combat roll. Uh oh, D uh, did I get? Okay, no, thank God. You're shooting, Commander. Press and hold the R button. Looks like you're All right, in good let's go. shape, Commander. This mission is a go. Move out to the next gold star. Check out the radar in the top left corner of your screen. The flashing gold star is your objective marker. Wait a minute! What's this Joker doing in Frontier Territory? He must be a Tundran spy! After him! I, w I think the spy is just a typical Tundran grunt, but is just uh, renamed as a spy. It honestly would have been like an interesting thing if it was a Frontier Rifle grunt, but painted red just to say, Oh hey, no, he's actually a Tundran. Is 
destroy these eyes in the sky before they can report back. Outstanding! That'll take the air out of the Tundran Intelligence Program. Over there! It's the Tundran Spy! And he just blinked out of existence. Where'd he go? This is one slippery customer. Move out, Commander, and keep your eyes peeled. Uh, let's see. Okay. I think we've gotten all the listening posts up to this point. More listening posts than spy balloons. Frontier Command isn't gonna like this. Go ahead and destroy them all. He's out of there. I, I always love the grunts. They're my favorite units in this entire game. I never got this little... Hold on, I want to explore down here real quick. I never actually explored down in this, like, little pond area. Hmm. This place down here is just completely useless. It was just here for aesthetics. Commander, that spy can't have gotten far. That's one of our boys. Go see if he's okay. Darn it, he's a gunner. Oh no. That spy is gonna pay for this. Dragon, he's gonna do it. I can feel it. Scoot over to the next gold star and form up with the boys from. I didn't even know you could die as a grunt. I always thought it was just, oh, you could just swim here. Wake up, Alpha Company. These rifle grunts will now follow you. See the green arrow icon above their heads? Press the X button once more. Head to the next gold star marked on your radar. We're getting reports of a Tundran camp in the area. Tundran soldiers! Target one of them and press the Y button to order your men to attack. Come on, boys. When your men have destroyed their target, they will automatically return to follow mode. Free those prisoners, Commander. Target the big ammo dump. The explosion should be enough to destroy the barbed wire. Good work, Commander. You've recovered a recon. Well done. Now keep moving. We have a spy to catch. Smash through the barbed wire, Commander. What the? That's a Tundran armored division down there. Looks like we've stumbled onto something big. Prepare yourselves for defeat, decadent frontier cowboys. Zargorki, your presence here is a clear breach of the terms of the ceasefire. What do you think you're doing? Making war, Brigadier Betty. Isn't this what Frontier Command has been waiting for? But I thought Marshal Nova wanted peace. I think the assembled might of my personal army speaks for the Marshal's intentions, Brigadier. Damn it, Grandpa's off his meds again. A S rank, although it's almost impossible to not get an S rank for the first mission. It's the boys! And the recon. Alright, let's go. I forget if I'm actually required to be... I know I have to swap to a tank at some point in this mission, but I forget if I'm stuck in it. I don't think so. I can hop back out of it, so it should not uh, violate the challenge. General Herman here, Commander. Do you copy? Here's the bad news. 
Zar Gorgi's launched an all-out attack. Which means our position is now behind enemy lines. But here's the good news. We're gonna join forces with the boys from Bravo Company. We'll see if we can't get us a piece of the action. Bravo Company's been airdropped just north of your position. Head for the Gold Star, Commander. Our right, boys, let's go. Your new battalion, Commander. Press the X button to get these boys to follow you. Pesky spy again. Take him out before he can report back to Thunder High Command. Nailed him. him and it looks like he left the meta pack behind. You can grab these for yourself, otherwise your grunts will pick them up as necessary. You may have eliminated my spy, General, but his comrades are thirsty for revenge. Why? What am I do? Hold on a second. Why is it not targeting that ammo dump right there? There we go. That was a really strong campfire. Holy hell. Remember, if you press an OBL button, move, and press the B button, you can execute combat rolls. Nice shooting, son. But let's keep moving. There's going to be plenty more where they came from. Hmm. Could have sworn that... I saw my guys taking damage. I don't know why they're not picking up the med kit. Yes, sir. Oh well. Looks like a small enemy camp. Press the plus control pad to enter global mode and get a better view of the battlefield. Darn it, the enemy's in cover, Commander. Try to flank him on the right. For Commander, move out to the next gold star. Go, go, go. I just wanted to do that. Now, I remember seeing something, it was like a speed run of this game, and there actually is a pretty big sequence break right up here. Cowboys are approaching our position. Cross the rope bridge and destroy them. Hang on a second, let me take care of this real quick. See the zero one marker? That means the MG nest up ahead is empty. Get over there and press the B button to jump in. Just aim and fire. These MG nests are pretty darn powerful, so make good use of them. Wow, it already ran out of ammo. The bridge is ours, Commander. Say again, the bridge is ours. All right, uh, let me see if I remember what to do. Do that, and I think we need to nudge him. I think it was like you had to, like, nudge one of your grunts through there to do the sequence break. Eh. I don't remember what it was exactly, just I know it uh, takes place in that area right there. Check old radio messages, press start pause, then find the mission log using the L and R buttons. Those thundered bullets sting a little bit, huh? Use those fallen logs as cover, Commander. Got him. You lose. You guys want any? Nope, guess not. All right, well, let's go. I know we're going to be walking into a big mess soon when we get the tank. So, really just want to try and keep my tro troops in tip-top shape at this moment. An airstrike, General. Are you afraid to engage my troops on even terms? Sucker for a show of force. Hot dog. Do we have total air 
One of you guys is hurting. There we go. But we don't got time to stand around and enjoy the scenery. There's the T top for carrying our tank. Let's roll out the welcome wagon, Commander. You heard him get the welcome wagon rolled out. Okay, less rolled out and more just popped into existence. Nah, I don't think so. Actually, no, no. Save that. Uh, okay, nope, nope. Go up there. This is it, Commander. Get over that bridge and destroy that supplies base. I will do that in just a minute, Herman. The MG towers and the supplies base are clear present danger. Okay, boys, you guys need to fall back. You guys go right here. Alright, tank, uh, as soon as you take care of those MGs. Hey, you know we got a bomber flying overhead. Maybe it wants to do like a bombing run on that supply base? No? Okay. Alright, give us something different to shoot at. Our boys. Oh, there he is. Not so fast, Herman. This battle is far from one. Mazuka veterans, destroy that tank. Oh, ah, we lost a grunt already. Oh, we're losing a lot of grunt. Oh, there's a lot of troops over there. What's that guy doing? Get out of here. Keep up the good work, son. We're close to winning this thing. Outstanding. Don't you just love the smell of victory in the morning? Enjoy your petty triumph, General. This battle has only strengthened my resolve to crush the frontier once and for all. Yeah, kind of figured that. We were pretty slow for most of the parts, just because I was screwing around. And, yeah, we did lose those, like, what, three grunts during the mission? So, I can see why it's an A rank. Oh, well. Still better than a B, though. When are you going to give up? This is stalemate, father. Patience, Nova. The game is not over yet. Marshal Nova, there are reports of sporadic fighting across the demilitarized zone. What? The Western Frontier have broken the truce? Actually, no. Ah, forgive me, son. I could not stand to see you toss our proud imperial history into the wastebasket of reformist peacemaking. How dare you! The Tundran army is no longer yours to command! Nelly, take control of those units. It seems we are at war. You would replace me with her? This is an outrage!
Now for the best commander. It sucks he only gets like what one mission in Battalion Wars 2 and that's relegated to the co-op. Colonel Austin at your service, Commander. The radar array at Windbreak Ridge has intercepted vital enemy transmission, but it is now surrounded by Tunpin forces. We need you to reinforce Windbreak Ridge before it falls into enemy hands. The Frontier are attempting to resupply the radar array. Stop them at once! Major Nelly, sounds like she means business, Commander. Let's get going. All right, let's go, boys. Move out to Windbreak Ridge and reinforce the radar array. Head for the Gold Star, Commander. Looks like the Tungans got here first. Remember what General Herman taught you about flanking, Commander? He said it was completely pointless and to rush the enemy head on, right? Nope. Okay. Oop, up, where? Oh, hi. Eh, one's a little banged up. Which one is it? Yeah, why aren't you going for your med kit? Come on. Ooh. Cross the river and follow the mountain trail. Hurry, Commander. The tunnels could strike at any moment. What's this guy do? Why why is he just rushing hit I guess he was probably trying to get behind us with the log. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's get going. Tungeon heavy recons at six o'clock. Your grunts are no match for them. Get across that river! Those are bazooka veterans from the garrison at Windbreak Ridge. These boys have the firepower to neutralize the enemy recon. All right, you're under my command now. Go get them. The bazooka vets have now joined your battalion. Tilt the C-stick left or right to cycle between unit types. Once the unit type is highlighted, tilt up or down on the C-stick to cycle between individual units. Then press the Z button to control transfer into that unit. Sir, yes, sir. Bazooka veterans have an advanced weapon. Press and hold the A button to power up. Yes, sir. Once the A button is released, the weapon will fire with increased range. All right, we will put these seen, guys right here. Veterans are more than a match for enemy vehicles. But their slow-moving projectiles can be dodged by enemy infantry, and they are vulnerable to rifle and machine gun fire. Welcome to Windbreak Ridge, Commander. This base is garrisoned by the rifle grunts and bazooka veterans of Charlie Company. Lead the bazooka veterans to guard the entrance to the radar array. Select their unit type with the C-stick. Then press the X button to put them in sentry mode. Infantry attack at the rear of the base. Head for the gold there star, go. Commander. To have your soldier leave his post, target the MG nest and press the X button. Oh, what the, what are you doing over there? Get, uh, Rifle squad one, there we go. I command you to strike. Nice 
nicely done, Commander. But stay alert. I have a feeling they are still searching for a weak spot in our defenses. Let's go. A recon too. Yep, yep, Broke recon. Defenses and report back to me with precise information on yep, all jump. their fortifications. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There are multiple vehicles approaching from the river. Get your bazooka veterans to the Silver Star. Come on, boys. Remember, the message log records each of my radio broadcasts. Use it when you need to remind yourself of your orders. Uh, there we go. I don't know what was going on. It looked like their shots weren't even going out. Wave of Tundan infantry ready to strike. Head for the Silver Star. I'm on it. Are your men in position, Colonel? Because here I come. Rifle Squad 2, attack! You know what? I'm gonna leave him here. Get Take control of another grunt. Remember to use global mode for a broader perspective on the battlefield. Press any direction on the bus control path. Toggle mode. What do you got? Just don't just stand there, you idiots! Get the shooting! Where are you guys? Get, get over here! Jeez! They are merely gearing up for an even more devastating attack. What's the hurry? Then here it is, Colonel. For your sake, I hope you have men dug in on both sides of your radar array. All right, uh, let's get these, get these guys right over here. And more infantry attacking nope, from nope, the rear. you guys stay there. I'll go command the bazooka vets. You didn't think I was going to make it easy for you, did you? I think the grunts and the machine guns can handle themselves. Bazookas might need a little uh, help directing their shots. Wow, you guys just missed that one by a mile. Welcome back, Moon. Well done, Commander. I did not think we could take this much punishment. You have defended yourself courageously so far, but now I shall strike at the very heart of your defenses. Tundran T-Copter incoming. Nelly means to fly her infantry directly inside the perimeter of the base. Seems like a really dumb idea, but whatever. Congratulations, Commander. You defended the radar array long enough for reinforcements to arrive. Not so fast, Colonel. I have one last trick up my sleeve. Enemy light tanks incoming. Get down to the river crossing. I wait, sir. All right, now for the real challenge. What are you doing? Destroy those tanks, Commander. All right, I think it's only two tanks, so the bazooka vet should be able to take care of them easily. Get down here! Ugh, I thought I called that tank over. Yeah, it's only two tanks. Ooh. Honestly, they didn't even really need to call in a light tank. They could have just, you know, made me go send the bazooka vets after them. They make quick work of these things. Incredible. I may have underestimated you, Colonel Austin. You cannot overestimate the tenacity of the frontier soldier, Major Nelly. 
That much is evident, Colonel Austin. We should convene under the white flag sometime to discuss tactics, of course. <coughs> Whatever does she mean by that, Commander? Wow, really touch and go there, but I'm glad we got an S rank on that. We might actually be able to get the bonus mission for the Tundra and Campaign unlocked in one go. That'd be nice, even though I'm really just focusing on the main campaign. Uh, if I try to tempt the bonus missions, then I'm sure people will get enjoyment out of it because of the Solar Empire and the Exylvania one, because those two are absolute bullshit. Alright. <sighs> Speaking of bullshit, let's get back to recon controls. Yay! Still hate them. Oh, this one's also going to be tough because I have to also avoid all the tundring units in this when I take control of the recon because that will count as me damaging them. Good to see you again, Commander. Now listen up because we need to move fast. During their assault on Windbreak Ridge, the Tundrans captured two of our scouts. They are holding them in this base. Your job is to rescue the scouts and use their recon to get them to the safety of our mobile camp to the north. Assault the enemy base and rescue the prisoners. Still love this music, though. As much as I hate this mission. You have less than six minutes to liberate their recon and drive them to our mobile camp. Deploy your bazooka vest against the enemy tank. Lock onto the tank, then use the sea stick to select your bazooka veteran. Press the white button go. to send them in. Destroy the barbed wire to free the prisoners. Just a minute, Betty. You free the prisoners, Commander. All right, let's go. That doesn't count. I have no control over the gun. Don't worry about the rest of our boys. They can handle themselves. The escaped prisoners know too much. Stop them at once. Just follow the road, Commander. She'll take you all the way home. Who knows? I can't actually see them taking damage, so maybe the gunner's just a terrible shot. Those blue jerry cans will repair damage to your recon. Ooh. Enemy checkpoint. Don't stop to show them your papers. Oh, this is gonna be stupid! Ow! Ooh! Oh, the recon controls there are so bad! Oh, not the spin out! I saw a jerry can somewhere. There it is. I need it! Up and over. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bad angle. Nice landing. You transfer in from the Air Force? Can nothing slow them down? Hold up. Oh, just a narrow dodge. Right, there's a grunt down there, or I think that's an assault vet. No, that's a grunt. Oh boy, now my favorite part. I'm trying to outrun a gunship. And tanks! And ammo dumps. Woo! Woo! 
I'm surprised that actually went as smoothly as it did. Just go straight. Uh, I forgot the the force is an easy place to get stuck in. All right, now we go right. Avoid that grunt. Nice driving, Commander. Not out of the woods yet. That is the worst part of this mission is that base and the forest because it's super easy to get caught in the trees in there. And I'm if you sideswipe one of those ammo dumps inside the barn, the yeah, you're basically done for. Because not only that, you can also get comboed by the tanks as well. And if you get, like, stuck in the trees or stuck against the wall or something, that gunship also has you dead to rights. But thankfully, we made it. Now I just gotta keep the troops alive. All right, boys. Your men will not leave this clearing, Brigadier. That's what he says, Commander. How about we prove All right, get the tank up there. Crush them. Prove to them the futility of war against the Tundran territories. Here goes nothing. Ah, good old AA vets. Or missile vets in this game. Oh, how you're incredibly broken and how you're basically good against every type of unit. Anyone need health? Everybody good? All right, good. Oh, what? Where'd that guy come from? Oh shit! That's a tank. Oh, that's a recon. Never mind. All right, get that tank back there. Get nope, nope, not not up there. Get it back there. I think they make a beeline right for the tank as well. And I think we do fail the mission if we lose the tank, so I need to keep that thing alive! Woo oh, hi. Alright, tank's still good at least. I can still see that gunship back there, so I might want to put the missile vets away. Or if I can get some... Nope, here it comes. Alright, boys. Get going. Alright, shot down. Oh, I can't believe we did it in one go. You have proved the most worthy opponent, Brigadier Betty. I look forward to our next encounter with great anticipation. Me too, Marshal Nova. Better luck next time. Not gonna lie, it was really tense there. I honestly thought A, we lost the tank, or B, I would have screwed up during the escape sequence. Because once I saw that Bazooka Vet group go into the camp, it was just like, oh no, the tank's done for. I'm going to have to do this again. And I hate doing this mission. Alright, plan of attack. This one's actually one of the bigger maps in the game. And it's also the one where it gives you the recon with the gun on it, which means... They expect you to use it. Of course, I'm never going to, so I'm probably going to get penalized big time for the speed. But, oh well. Good morning, Commander. I trust this day finds you fighting fit and ready for tactical combat. The scouts you rescued in your last mission have provided us with the location of one of the key Tundra command posts in this quadrant. Your task is to capture the Tundran HQ at Castle Potemkin, so that we can learn more about Marshal Nova's battle plan. 
The Tungsons have fortified the entry points to the castle grounds with bazooka veterans, making a mechanized frontal assault impossible. A Tungson prison camp lies to the east. I suggest you free the flame veteran POWs being held there and make good use of them. All right, let's go. The Tungen HQ at Castle Potemkin, Commander. This is your primary objective. By pressing start, pause, you can bring up the map screen and review your objectives, the surrounding terrain, and all unit positions. If you lose all your infantry, you will be unable to capture the castle, and this mission will end in failure. One right, final rifle, piece of rifle. advice, Commander. You can select the all icon in your command bar to give orders to all the units in your battalion. Taking enemy fire! Uh, these prisoners are being well cared for, Colonel. Do not jeopardize their lives by attempting to sleep them. Okay, there we go. I'm surprised we didn't lose the bazooka vet there. When they were just running gun ho right into that prison camp. You have liberated the flame veteran command. Your battalion now has increased combat effectiveness against enemy infantry. Ooh, what? Are you deaf or something, trooper? Jeez. It's quiet, too quiet, my ass. All right, let me see. What was the plan of attack? Oh, yeah, I usually go this way, save the tank, and then we march in through the backside. Hmm. Huh. All right, uh, whatever. Uh, guess we'll just do that. Let's see, bazooka vets, and I think, yeah, flame vets, and then there's just flame vets. Oh, right, I'm thinking Battalion Wars 2, where there's a heavy tank up there. Because this mission right here is actually a co-op mission for the multiplayer in the second game. Rest in peace. Was that recon driving into a tree over and over again? Is that what I was hearing? Wow, this guy is on me big time. What? You got a problem with me, trooper? Huh? You got a problem with me? No? All right, then. Ooh, hi. Okay, how do I want to go about this? Okay, I think I'll send the recon up there to rescue the tank crew. And I'll send the tank up this way to take out the MG nest. And I'll just coordinate from here. Oh yeah, gotta keep my distance. They're going after me. One and two. Well, that was a waste. Probably could have just come up here and did it myself. In fact, as long as I keep that flame bed at a distance, I should be able to take him out without any uh, trouble.
Come on. Come on. Uh, there we go. No, 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 no. Free him, free him. Got him. Good job. You liberated the frontier light tank. Your battalion's combat effectiveness is now significantly improved. Ooh, oh, that's hot. What was the next uh, bazookas? And then there's a heavy tank guarding the flag. And also, I believe that a rec uh, recon uh, T-copter flies in, so I need to be careful and also be fast. Yes, sir. Right, you guys stay right there. Awesome. See if anyone needs health. Oops. All right, everything looks good. Now just wait on the tanks to get across. Wow, this flame vet really likes staying on my ass, doesn't he? There it is! Alright, there's that! Come on, take out that MG nest. That's our biggest threat here, and we lost the bazooka. Oh, I think we lost two bazookas. My tanks are destroyed. Your combat strategies are causing massive from Carnival. All right, come on, boys. Thank you, Mechanella. But we must take the capture point before we can consider this mission a success, Commander. Do not begin the victory celebration just yet, Carnival. You were saying? Congratulations, Commander. You have captured the Tundra HQ. Frontier Command will be delighted. I can hear that transport copter. Castle Potemkin has been overrun. Marshal Nova will be furious. <laughs> Funny thing, I think if it lands and it's starting to, the unloading of troops, if you do capture it as it starts the, the drop-off sequence, it just nopes right out of the battlefield. It's just like, oh, God, nope, this is their base now. All right, Titans, let's go. Boy, have I got a mission for you this time, Commander. Our men rifled through some drawers back at Castle Potemkin and came up with the location of Marshal Nova's elite tank division. And guess what? It's up to you to go head to head with Nova's nasty old tanks and destroy every last one of them. You have made a grave error in coming here, General. The Iron Eight are undefeatable. Hogwash! My boys can take your armor any day of the week! Alright, Commander. Your orders are to engage the enemy and clear this sector of all eight heavy tanks. Let's get to it! 
There may be enemy air support in this sector, so we've transferred some missile veterans from Delta Company to your battalion. Protect those missile vets, Commander. If you lose them, you'll be vulnerable to enemy air attack. Probably my favorite mission in the entire Tundra campaign. Hi! Just because it's like, hey, here's this big battlefield, here's all these troops, here's a pretty decent sized battalion, uh, go nuts. Okay, all right. Whatever. Medals for anyone who can stop this frontier aggressor. Up here comes the tank. Nope, nope, not the, not the gunship. Get the tank. Ooh, that hurts. Like I said, favorite mission. It's really intense. Even though I usually play this mission as a tank, uh, doing this uh, grunt only challenge makes these battles even more intense because I have to like be up close, impersonal, and like deep in the fight. All right, you guys stay behind. Oh god. Did I always have three flame vets? I could have sworn I had more. Did some actually get killed in that big battle back back there? They're waiting for us out there. Sir, yes, sir. Let's go. Uh let's see. I think that's just grunt, so I'll just take the flame vets and head up there with them. Good on health. Oh, the, my grunts are hurting though. Ooh, so the AA vets. Jeez. <laughs> Missile. I keep calling them AA for some reason. I guess it's because it's their official name in the sequel. Alright, guys, get your health. What are we waiting for? Alright, it's better than nothing. That's it. Nope, that's a tank. I thought that was a rifle grunt. Oh, gee, where are you guys going? Strengthening the resolve of my men, General. Come on, guys, get up. There we go. Enemy gunship. Time to send in the missile vets. All right, these are grunts. I got another little piece of advice for you, Commander. Aircraft show up on the radar and triangular blitz. Yep, actually. Yes, sir. Is that what I think it is? Grunt, bazooka. Okay, never mind.
Ooh. Oh, that actually hurt a lot. Holy hell. And they just snatched up all the health kits. Great. All right, what do we have to deal with up here? I think that's just a, that's a bazooka. I don't know why he's going for a swim, though. Uh, One gunship, two gunships, three gunships, four gunships. There's a tank over there in the ruins, and two tanks up here in the base, and then that is it for the mission. Ah, uh, there's a gunship. I don't think he's seen us. Maybe if we move very slowly, we can take him by surprise! Oh, there's another one I can see it flying around back there. Oh, not the bazookas. Grunts. You guys go there, you guys take care of the bazooka. And I'm dead. No, my Game Boy! There's a gunship above. There it is. And of course, there's a small aid station right here. Great. Oh, one of my grunts is about dead. That's a flame vet. Oh, no. Oh, no. And we just lost all our flame vets. Great. Perfect. Oh, we are hurting big time. One vehicle is all I need to prove Tundran superiority in the field of mechanized warfare. Uh, let's see. What are our losses? Well, so far we lost none of our missile vets. We've lost, I believe, two bazooka vets, or maybe just a bazooka vet. And we've lost, so far, four grunts. Jeez. And all the flame vets, of course. Make that two bazooka vets. Yeah, you guys, you you guys need the health more than I do. Who's shooting at what? Oh. Jeez, I kind of feel bad for that guy. I'm sending the tanks in this time. Why is one of my tanks almost on fire? Oh, I, I think he was taking, like, constant broadsides from a bazooka vet back there. That might make the most sense as to why he was almost uh, completely destroyed. Well, there he goes. Actually, you guys, you fall back. Wait for the tanks to go first. Oh, God. Ow. Of course, the, the worst condition tank is the one that goes in first. You fool! Don't you know what you're doing? Are 
your tank speed up, would general? Uh, and with that, we should be done. There we go. Darn it, if you don't make me proud to serve in this army, Commander. Yeah, kind of figured we weren't going to get an S rank for that one. Still. 91% even though that horrendous m screw up when we were in that base and lost almost half the battalion there uh, I'm surprised it gave me an A rank still I figured it was going to be like a B rank or at least teetering on the precipice of a B alright we will finish up the Tundring campaign and then we shall take a break because we've already been going for an hour so, let's finish this up. Actually, hold on. I'm curious. How close am I to actually getting the bonus mission? Wow, we are really close. I think no matter what I get, aside from like a C rank, we should be able to unlock the bonus mission as well. So, we'll probably do that after we get back from the break. But for now, it is time to strike from a distance. Something to quench your thirst. My son is blind to the threat posed by the Western Frontier. Am I to take it that you wish to proceed with our arrangement? Yes. So, the pact is sealed. God, Vlad always had such a cool voice. And I actually looked up his, his actor, and he was actually a pretty big-name German actor. He is actually still doing stuff. One of my favorite things, though, is a, a voice role that he got that you would never guess someone who has his voice would do. I'm going to let everyone in chat uh, take a guess as to what it is. Thanks to you, Commander. We've stopped the enemy advance in its tracks. Now it's time to take out their forward positions and send these no-good grizzlies back home to Mother Tundra. We have a bomber squadron standing by, waiting to blow the Tundran army to smithereens. But first, we need to take down the Tundran's radar cover. That's why I'm sending you some artillery units. These heavy hitters will knock out the enemy MG towers from a distance. With the MG towers out of the picture, your infantry can move in and capture the Tundran radar stations to clear the way for our bombers to finish the job. What are you waiting for, Commander? Muster your battalion and get into formation. Come on, Moon, just take a guess. Begin Any guess at all. Vets under your command. Assault vets are highly effective against light vehicles and aircraft, but they are less accurate at long range. Press and hold the A button to increase the rate of fire. But if you hold it down for too long, the barrel will overheat. What are those tons of flame vets doing snooping around in our tent? Go give them a lesson in good matters. Are you just straight up give up, Moon? Um. Vlad's voice actor is the narrator for Kirby's Epic Yarn. Once I found that out, I just completely lost it because it was just like, oh my god, that is great. Well, at least for the German version. He's not the English uh, narrator for it, but he is the German. Because, well, his actor is actually German. Here's that artillery I promised you, Commander. These cannons are highly effective against static and slow-moving targets. 
but they are vulnerable to enemy gunships and short-range anti-armor units. With these babies, we can start shelling the enemy's fortifications from our side of the river. The Tundrans will undoubtedly launch a counterattack, so defend your artillery at all times. Oh, nope, stay out of that. It seems the Western Frontier no longer has the courage to fight man to man. Still haven't noticed I'm a girl, Marshal Nova. My gun put an end to their cowardly attack. Uh oh! Enemy air unit inbound! Here it comes. Don't let it take out your artillery! Alright, this time around I wanna try something. Because this is, actually is a pretty high-stakes mission, uh, guys. Really? God, I wish they gave us more AA vets. Ooh, yeah, that one's already smoking. All right. I want to go this way. Oh, there's a jerry can over here. I've never actually explored this side of the river. And from what I saw from the intro of this mission, it looks like we can actually get across the river from this end, which might actually be the safer option. Wrong button. Oh, that's a tank! That's a tank! I don't even know where that thing came from. Bring on. Yeah, you might want to fix that artillery piece. Oh. Ow. There we go. Alright. Uh, who's hurting the most? You are. Yeah, definitely go pick up that jerry can, buddy. You need it badly. Can he not get it? Oh, is it in a spot where... What is it? Come on, nudge him in. Nudge him in. Damn. All right, not the bazooka bed. I saw the gun tower over there somewhere. There it is. Gunships is sure to shake the enemy's morale. You're approaching an enemy capture point, Commander. Do you remember how to take control? Walk on to the capture point and press Y to There it is. Nope, not the tank. To raise the flag. We got one. Two more radar stations to go. I think, yep, yeah, we just lost one. Out, out, that is not what I want you to shoot at, guys. There we go. Uh, camera, please work with me. All right, thankfully, we took care of all the guards up here. guys even shooting at? Do you just really hate that mountainside? Nearly there. Nearly there. Two points to the frontier, Commander. You only need to capture one more radar station. Evidently they hate that mountainside. This is unacceptable. The frontier cowboys are about to shame the Gun territories. I think that's what they were shooting at. Father, what are you doing here? I am here to bring you to your senses. And secure total victory for uh, Andra. Who, what, where, what? Heads up, Commander. Marshal Nova's sending in a third gunship. Of course he is. 
All right, hold on. Oh, I was here fast. Hi, how's it going, guys? Those are flame vents. And with that, we are done. We're on the clock here, Commander. Less than two minutes to go. I think we lost all our artillery pieces Good for this job, mission. Commander. All three radar stations are now offline. Fifty first bomber squadron is go for launch. Here comes the cavalry, Commander. Wait a second. Exylvanian crest on those bombers. What the heck is going on? Greetings from Exylvania, Tsar Gobi. Kaiser Vlad has chosen to decline your offer of an alliance and make war on both your armies instead. What is she talking about, father? Secret. I made a pact with the Exylvanians that would ensure victory for the Tundran territories, but I have been betrayed! Looks like the Exylvanians scored in both end zones before anybody even knew they were in the game. If either of our nations are to survive, we must unite against the common foe. What say you, Brigadier? You got yourself a deal, Marshal, and call me Betty. All right, how bad did we do? Oh, wait. Today, the world reeled in shock as Exylvania launched a devastating attack on both the Western Frontier and the Tundran Territory. Man, I did horrible. In its aftermath, these two former adversaries put centuries of bitter enmity behind them by forming an alliance of nations. And so, the Fighting Frontier and the Tundran Bear find themselves fighting side by side in a war which will decide the fate of both their nations. That little tick at the end always bugged me. You heard it too, right? Or am I just going crazy? Alright. Let's see if we actually was able to unlock. Yeah, we actually did. Cool. Alright. I'm going to go take a break and get some water. When we get back, we sh uh, You heard it too, Moon. Alright. I'm going to go take a break, get some water, and when we get back, we will do the bonus mission for the Tundrans, and then we will start the Dune Sea campaign. Alright, I will see you all in just a little bit.
All right, I'm back. Hope you all missed me. Let's get back to the game and let's do the campaign one bonus. This is probably gonna go horrible. Even when I use the proper units, this mission's still pretty challenging. And oh god, I'm dreading if I actually do have to do the Dune C one because uh, I hate that one. A lot of people say that the Coral Atoll campaign bonus mission is the worst, but nope, it's that one. The Western Frontier has launched a fierce counterattack. Heavy tanks and gunships have been detected. We must prepare for combat. Your objective is to defeat the Western Frontier aggressors that are swarming into this sector. You don't got nothing but rusty old tractors and farm hands with pop guns. This is gonna be a cakewalk. <laughs> I think not, General Hermon. Tundra and resilience is famous the world over. Commander, your orders are to meet with the battalion that waits in the valley below and repel the enemy. All right, let's go. I think I've said this before uh, the last time I played it, or hell, maybe even during the LP, but I actually really prefer the design of the Tundra troops in this game as opposed to the sequel. I don't know, it's the brown and red that really, like, complement each other. Ow. Okay, yeah, get the troops back. Let the tanks handle this. I will stay at the forefront to direct the troops. Alright, I know you guys probably need those jerry cans. Especially you in the middle there. Wasn't I supposed to... Ah, there they are. No, those are... Wait. I could have sworn I had, like, a bigger battalion for this. Let's see, two rifle grunts, a bunch of rifle grunts. Ah, there, there's the tanks. And then here's a whole battalion of rifle grunts. All right. Nope, not that, not that. Caution, comrade commander. The enemy's airborne firepower is not to be underestimated. Frontier heavy tanks approaching. Engage and destroy. All right, where was that gunship? I heard it flying overhead. There it is. Alright, I'll keep you guys behind. Oh no, yep, the tanks have spotted us. Time to fall back, guys. Let's go. I hear that gunship. I hate that I hear it, but I can't see it. Ah, there it is. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six heavy tanks down there. You guys go for that one, you go for that one. 
See if I can get the... Nah. I'll keep the AA vets with me. Oh, boy. There it is. Heavy's about to go down. All right, you guys stay right here, I guess. Oh, shoot back. Oh, for crying out loud, guys. There they are. There goes nothing. There is only one more frontier grant in the fortress perimeter. Your radar will lead you directly to his location. That is the last of the enemy grants. Herman will think twice before deploying more cannon fodder. All right, you guys go that way. So that way. I shall take the tanks, and we will finish off the other heavy tanks. Here's a gunship over there. It needs to die. I was going to say, what is he doing? Like, sick drifts up in the air over there? Stay there. Alright, we'll just pick him off. Locate the last remaining frontier tank using your radar, Comrade Commander. Or I could just use my eyes since it's right there. Tanks are in twisted, smoking ruins. You have earned my respect, Commander. All right, come on, boys. I usually like to try and pick up the rifle grunts up here because it makes going through the forest area over here a cakewalk. I probably could handle it with uh, the troops that we have now, but it's always best to have superior numbers. Besides, I think this bonus mission right here is actually the only mission that has, like, the uh, highest number of rifle grunts. I think, like, you can get up to 17 total. Ooh. Oh, I'm down. That is the end of the Frontier Bazooka Squad. You are to be commended, Comrade Commander. Victory! Thanks to you, Commander, this sector remains in the hands of its rightful owners. Our songs of triumph will echo throughout the ages. Medals for all. Don't you just hate a bad winner?
Yeah, I think we lost like three tanks for that mission, so it makes sense to give me just an A rank. I think tanks are the only thing we did lose. Aside from maybe like... Oh, no, wait. I did die just recently. I don't know. All right. Well, I'm happy we actually managed to finish that mission up. Let's head on over to the Dune Sea. Mission accomplished, Kaiser Vlad. We have swift destruction upon both our enemies. Excellent news, Countess Ingrid. Proceed to the narrow side fields of the Dune Sea as planned. As you wish, Herr Kaiser. For too long, Exylvania has been the playground of frontier war mongers and dungeon despots. At last, we will resume our rightful place in history as masters of these inferior nations. And when you are emperor, Herr Kaiser, yes, evil, I will make you governator. Now go, rally the troops. We strike again before dawn. There's that pop again, I can hear it. I've never actually noticed that pop until I think these uh, new headphones that I have, it makes it everything so much more clearer. Clear. I don't know why I almost sounded like I was drowning there. It's like, clear, clear, clear. Welcome to the Dune Sea, Commander. This is the world's number one repository at Nera site. The fuel that fires the enemy's infernal war machine. The Exylvanians have been attacking up and down the coast in an attempt to gain a foothold for the big push inland. We've repelled them so far, but it's only a matter of time before they succeed in capturing one of our bases. Intel suggests that Fort Omaha here is on the hit list, so I expect you to defend it at all costs. Heads up, Commander! Fort Omaha is already under attack! That's a heavy recon you're driving there, Commander. With increased armor and firepower, it's a step up from the light recon. Yeah, it's also, like, twice as slow. Hopefully the Bazooka Vets will be able to take care of the- yep, they did. And with no one taking any damage, it surprisingly. Here, dogs. Commander Uber is here. <laughs> I heard them extras were ugly, but this fella takes the cake. You want ugly, scorny little man? Uber stormtroopers will show you ugly. Let's put you right there. Put you right there, put you right there, and put the bulk of the troops there. Oh, hi. Alright, now to take the entire beachhead myself. Wow, I am a terrible shot with this thing. What is with the sights on this thing? Holy hell. At least the artillery is being useful. Uh, hi. Bye. Oh, seems that was just the advance party. We got multiple enemy signals inbound. The enemy's primary objective is gonna be the fort. Whatever you do, don't let them take the flight. You have two artillery units, Commander. 
I advise you to position them strategically. What the heck do you want, Austin? This is my command. Of course, General. Just remember, there are fortifications around the base. Select one of your men by tilting up and down on the C-stick. Then send him into a bunker by pressing the Y button. Try using this technique to send each of your artillery units to a tactical firing position. You may be nothing more than a big old stuffed shirt, but Austin's right. We're gonna have to dig in for this one. Austin, I love you, buddy. You're a really a cool dude, and you're a really good commander. But do you want me to send my troops to their deaths? Because that's what will happen if I send any troops to these bunkers. The invasion force will be here any minute. At least a trooper that's not me. Because for whatever reason, they just don't bother to attack if they're in an MG bunker. So it's just best to just keep the troops inside the fort and just take the bunker yourself. Hell, I think I put the artillery in, like, th the perfect position because they are so effective at this moment. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons why it's a death sentence to send your troops into those bunkers. Uh, the bazooka vets right here, or the rocket vets, as the Exylvanians like to call them. They just like to get behind the bunker and just fill it full of rockets and just basically the trooper in there is dead to rights. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where is that recon? I put it there for a reason. Get up here. Jeez, these guys are just holding the front door, huh? How's that bunker? Bunker is still in perfect condition. That is surprising. I will give them this, though. These bunkers are, are pretty durable, but it's just completely useless to put a trooper in there if they aren't even going to bother to attack the enemy coming towards them. So much for the Exylvanian war machine. We're flat out kicking their butts, Commander. Uber's invasion is failing. Kaiser Vlad will surely demote him back to the rank of Grunt for this. Well, there, my pet. Auntie Ingrid will make it all better. Countess Ingrid, your beauty lights up this battlefield. But why are you here? The Kaiser anticipated that Ubel's grand attack might flounder on the beaches, so he dispatched my bombers to help finish the job. Wait, what? She ain't kidding, Commander. Oh, capture We're point. reports of an attack wing of Exylvanian bombers headed our way. Hang in there, Commander. Frontier right. command of off-the-rise right. reinforcements. Let's spread They're the troops around. Now. I'm going to keep you guys back there. Here come the backup. Special delivery, Commander. Who ordered the anti-air support? I forgot one of the one of the grunts' lines in the Dune Sea is that he really wants ice cream. I love the trooper lines in this game. They didn't have to do this, but the fact that they did makes me love this game more because they actually gave the time to give your troopers a personality. Are you ready, little man? Ubel has a big surprise for you. Stay sharp, Commander. The enemy stays in an airborne assault. There it is. I was wondering what that thing was. Get up here. What the? Uh, did I shoot a gunner out of his position up there? Why was he all the way up there? Alright, 
right, hold on. I gotta take care of these bazookas first. There's too many things going on in here. It's actually slowing the game down quite a bit. All right, I need to know, where is that bomber? There it is. There it is. Get it. Commander Uben, the frontier has possession of an anti-air vehicle. Never fear, Countess. I shall dispatch rocket squad Ajax to assist you in your hour of need. Oh, man. Oh, so many bombers! Why are there so many bombers? What the hell is the AA vehicle doing? The AA vehicles hurt bad, Commander. Don't let the enemy finish it off. You let them take out our anti-air support. Ingrid bombers can now strike at will. Mission failed. It's not my fault. The thing wasn't shooting. Victory belongs to Uvel. When Kaiser Vlad hears of this, he is certain to designate me governor of this land. <sighs> Honestly, would have preferred AA vets. Oh, and here comes the challenge. Welcome to the Dune Sea, Commander. This is the world's number one repository at Nera site. Heads up, Commander. Fort Omaha is already under attack. That's a heavy recon you're driving there, Commander. With increased armor and firepower, it's a step up from the light recon. Oh, they're not doing good. Greetings, Frontier Dogs. Commander Uber is here. Wow! I heard them extras were ugly, but this fella takes the cake. You want ugly, scrawny little man? Uber stormtroopers will show you ugly. That right there. All right, I'm gonna just have to put faith in my troops, and I'm just gonna need to be out on the beach when the bombers show up. I might have to bring the grins with me to keep it safe with from the. Uh, actually, no. I probably should be able to take the assault vest. They should be able to. The grunts should be able to hold the fortress. You guys go over there. You guys go back there. And here come the acid gas. Guys, seriously, come on. Look alive out here for crying out loud, and we just lost a bazooka. Uh oh, seems that was just the advance party. We got multiple enemy signals inbound. The enemy's primary objective is gonna be the fort. Whatever you do, don't let them take the flag. You have two artillery units, Commander. I advise you to position them strategically. What the heck do you want, Austin? This is my command. Of course, General. Just remember, there are fortifications around the base. Select one of your men by tilting up and down on the C-stick. 
Then send him into a bunker by pressing the Y button. Try using this technique to send each of your artillery units to a tactical firing position. You may be nothing more than a big old stuffed shirt, but Austin's right. We're gonna have to dig in for this one. I'm gonna guess... Nope, still not here yet. You know what Ubel has ordered. Seize the enemy fort and crush them all! The enemy is closing in, Commander. The invasion force will be here any minute. Alright, uh, yeah. Fix that flag. This is it, Commander. Don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. Rocket Trooper, take him out. Guys, get some health. Oh, that's not good. Finish him off. Come on, guys. Oh, yep, the tanks are here. Uh, why'd you have to run out there, you idiot? Uber's invasion is failing! Kaiser Vlad will surely demote him back to the rank of Grunt for this! There, there, my pet. Auntie Ingrid will make it all better. Countess Ingrid, your beauty lights up this battlefield. But why are you here? The Kaiser anticipated that Ubel's grand attack might flounder on the beaches, so he dispatched my bombers to help finish the job. She ain't kidding, Commander. We're getting reports of an attack wing of Exylvanian bombers headed our way. Hang in there, Commander. Frontier Command have authorized reinforcements. They're in route now. All right, let's try this again. Special delivery, Commander. Who ordered the anti-air support? All right, give me those assault vets, and let's get... Let's get to the recon right here to provide additional cover. We'll get the grunts right there, and bazookas go right there. All right. Are you ready, little man? Ubel has a big surprise for you. Stay sharp, Commander. The enemy stays in an airborne assault. All right, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh, that's why they just dropped the units right into the base. Already? Damn it! Ah. Hmm. There must have been a group of bazooka vets out there. Victory belongs to Ubel. When Kaiser Vlad hears of this, he is certain to designate me 
governor of this land. Damn. That AA vehicle is going to be a pain in the ass to keep alive. It didn't even... Uh, it's probably the first initial attack. It was going to be like, he didn't send the rocket squad after them, so they didn't appear yet. I think it might have been, like, there were one, maybe two or three rocket troopers outside the base, and that took out the AA vehicle. Welcome to... Heads up, Commander! Fort Omaha is already under attack! That's a heavy recon you're driving there, Commander, with increased armor and firepower. It's a step up from the light recon. All right, not bad. Greetings, Frontier Dogs. Commander Uber is here. Whoa! I heard them extras were ugly, but this fella takes the cake. You want ugly, scrawny little man? Uber Stormtroopers will show you ugly. Back there, trooper. Come on. Maybe a little further back. All right. All right, there we go. Yes, I, I do know that you need ice cream. But you should have got some before the battle happened. And there's already an assault vet dead. Great. And a bazooka. Jeez, those guys burn through them fast. Enemy's primary objective is gonna be the fort. Whatever you do, don't let them take the flag. You have two artillery units, Commander. I advise you to position them strategically. What the heck do you want, Austin? This is my command. Of course, General. Just remember, there are fortifications around the base. Select one of your men by tilting up and down on the C stick. Then send him into a bunker by pressing the Y button. Try using this technique to send each of your artillery units to a tactical firing position. He may be nothing more than a big old stuffed shirt, but Austin's right. We're gonna have to dig in for this one. You know what Ubel has ordered. Seize the enemy fort and crush them all! The enemy is closing in, Commander. The invasion force will be here any minute. This is it, Commander. Don't shoot till you see the whites of their eyes. Oh, is that shoot as soon as you see them? Got it. They really like to sidestep these shots, don't they? Rockets, nothing but rockets. So far, no acid gas, which is good. Oh, there they are. 
Wow, do those things hurt. I think tanks are coming. Get out of there. Is it tanks? Yeah, it's tanks. <laughs> okay. Don't know what was going on with that tank there, but all right, whatever. Where is the other? There it is. All right. Their butts, Commander. Let's put you right there. Keep you guys with me, and keep the rest of the grunts in there. There, there, my pet. Auntie Ingrid will make it all better. Countess Ingrid, your beauty lights up this battlefield. But why are you here? The Kaiser anticipated that Ubel's ground attack might flounder on the beaches, so he dispatched my bombers to help finish the job. She ain't kidding, Commander. We're getting reports of an attack wing of Exylvanian bombers headed our way. Hang in there, Commander. Frontier Command of Authorized Reinforcements. They're in route now. Alright, wait for the reinforcements to come in. I'm gonna have to trust the battalion in there to take care of the drop troops. Special delivery, Commander. Who ordered the anti-air support? I've actually. Second wave, attack! Hi, Dragon. Thank you for the gift sub. All right. Uh, where's the AA vehicle? Why? What is going on? Are you ready, little man? Ubel has a big surprise for you. Stay sharp, Commander. The enemy stays in an airborne assault. Ah, damn it, Dragon. All right, there it is. Take it out. Jeez, that thing, they take it out so fast. All right, I'm staying out here with it to keep it alive. A second victorious airstrike will seal my reputation as Countess of the Skies. Ow, I'm dead. Nope, not that. All right, where's that bomber? There it is. Take it out. Commander Uben, the frontier has possession of an anti-air vehicle. Never fear, Countess. I shall dispatch Rocket Squad Ajax to assist you in your hour of need. All right, get that there. Just basically keep all the troops there. Need to keep them that this AA vehicle safe from those rocket troopers. Oh God. Is that is that a no? That's the transport with the rock, rocket troopers. Here he is. Come on, take him out. Got him. Nice. Standing commander. Whew. An outright victory is a tremendous win. Yeah. In a new campaign in style. You may keep your insignificant base. But Ubel will not stop until he has claimed the June Sea in the name of the Kaiser. Those Exylvanians sure are full of hot air. You think it's something to do with this desert climate? <laughs> <laughs> I 
hey, no need to worry about that, dragon. You know, I, I was guilty of that, but that's how I got my little biker ninja outfit. I think I might need to get maybe like one more this Friday. Who knows, maybe I'll get the season pass. Ugh, I can't believe it took me three, three or four to tries to get this mission done, but we finally did it. Alright, now I actually practiced this a little bit, and I'm gonna say right now, Invasion Force is a pretty hard mission to do. I got to the very end of it, and then I failed it. Because you got to keep all the Tundra and troops alive, and I it was just so chaotic, I lost track of everything, and all the troops died. So what did you miss? Popped out for a bit to play Smash with a friend who's getting back to streaming. Uh, so far, we've finished up the first campaign. We are starting to... Oh, wait, hold on. The Dune Sea campaign is moving fast, Commander. Even as we speak, the Exalthanians are laying siege to the Tundra-held city of Dusty Springs. Brigadier Betty, can our frontier allies assist us in resisting the invaders until we are ready to evacuate? We must hold the Exylvanian Siege Brigade at bay until our distress signal is received by Thunder High Command. We'll be glad to assist, Marshal. There is a Frontier Battalion in the area. I'm sending it to you right now. Commander, your mission is to protect the comm station until Marshal Nova's evac wing arrives. Make for the Silver Star. Alright, as I was saying, hi. As I was saying, uh, we finished up the first campaign and did the first bonus mission. And as you just showed up, we uh, just did the first mission for the Dune Sea campaign. And now we're on to the second one. So you really didn't miss much. Uh, let's see, take that out, take that out. You guys take that out, you guys take that out. run these inferior specimens into the ground. The veins of an entire continent are waiting to be tapped. I also shared a bit of uh, funny a trivia with this game. At last. But you chose the wrong day to pick a fight with our allies. Uh, Vlad's voice, the, the main bad guy of the series. Uh, a fun fact is his voice actor is actually a, a really well-known actor who's been in s such thing as the... Last Crusade, and also he's the narrator for Kirby's Epic Yarn, which I found hilarious. Uh, well, he he's the the German narrator for it, but still, I find it hilarious that he he's still the narrator of Epic Yarn. What is going on with the AA vehicles? Whoa! Hi. Why is it raining men? Chokehold on the enemy! Bring in heavy tanks and rocket troops to seize the northern bridges! Commander, you gotta stop the Exylvanian Siege Brigade from entering the city. Head for that Silver Star! Also, this is the fifth time my troops say that they want ice cream. Just get the poor boy some ice cream already! Alright, bazookas, you go after that. I'll have the heavies go after that one. Need health badly. Immediately. 
Those stockpiles of Nero's hide are within my grasp. <laughs> I just heard one of my veterans go, I think I'm getting the suntan. God, I, I love the personality that the troops get in this game. Oh, I forgot. Rockets! to be good, so I think we should head back to the next bridge. Again, the inferior enemy frustrates my efforts. I need infantry to secure that comms station. All right, I'll keep and the AA right there. Exylvanian infantry are swarming towards the southern bridge, and they have air cover, Commander. Get to that Silver Star. All right, put the tanks right there. That is probably the perfect position for the AA vehicles, because it, it can actually cover both bridges. Alright, let's see. Everybody's good on health. That's good. I don't know why the tanks are looking that way, though. Oh, right. I forgot. I think rocket troops come this way as well. Or maybe it's just rifle grunts. Yeah, it's just grunts. Close the iron fist of Exodania around them. Transport copters surround the comp station with infantry. It's going to take another five minutes before Tundran High Command received Nova's distress signal. Retreat to the comm station. Excellent! You kept the Tundran infantry at both locations in one piece. Both secondary objectives complete. All right, let's put that there. I'll have the Bazooka Vets watch the other entrance. And if I'm good, maybe we can actually take care of both of the heavy tanks. It looks like we saved a lot of the rifle grunts as well, so that's good. The more numbers means the more chance of me not failing this mission. How are the tanks holding up? Ah, uh, they're taking some damage. Right, they got that covered. Are you gonna do something, guys, or are you gonna let the Tundrans have all the fun? Alright, bazookas are needed. Guys, you might want to get back into cover. Just saying. I don't think your rifles are going to do much against the tank. An Exylvanian transport copter is about to land just north of the comm station. Ow. Crap, gunship. Ready. Yeah, you probably could use a jerry can up here. Uh, let's see. Tanks are, have that one already dead to rights, but there's another one coming up this way.
Come on, shoot at me, not the rest of the troops. Especially the Tundrans. Another of the Kaiser's sea cocktails. This one's trajectory will carry it south of the comm station. I'm not so sure about that. Alright, let's get the heavy tanks back here. I don't want them going out too far, and that's a gunship. That's a jerry can. I was kind of hoping that I could get a med kit in there, but oh well. Alright. Heavy tank, yep. I'm going to keep the rest of the battalion in here this time. Just bring out the bazookas. And we just lost a tundra. Great. No, that's a gunship. There should be one more transport coming in, though. Brigadier, an Exylvanian transport copter is about to land just north of the comms station. Expendable! You are all expendable! Attack! Pour into the city and strike them down! Every last one of them! Come on! Ah, not fast the enough. Kaiser is sending in every unit he can muster. Ah, oh, crap, we lost the tank. Less than 30 seconds remain until the distress signal is broadcast. Alright. At least they lost one, too. Oh, welcome to the chaos. Oh, that's why we lost the tank. Gunships. Actually, where the hell is the tank? That's a rifle. That's a heavy tank coming in. Um, you know what? I'm running for it. High Command has received our distress signal. The evac I think the there is a jerry can up by the lighthouse, so we should be good. If I can just get the tank there in one piece. Problem is, gunships are going to appear at all the woodworks now. Hold out until Nova's extraction choppers arrive. Head for the gold star. If I just follow this route, here come the gunships. Oh, hi, heavy tank. Uh, yeah, you need to die, like right now. Hi, would you mind taking out that gunship, please? Thank you. Holy hell. Oh, it's another one. Alright, uh... It looks like... Let's see. Oh, man, those guys are gonna get completely overrun. Let's see, there's a grunt going through there. Missile vets. Uh, there's a bazooka vet in the middle of that mess. And he's dead. And I think there's, like, a couple grunts that finally made it to the, to the lighthouse. And 30 seconds to go, Come on. dear. My evac wing is almost here. Come on, we just need to keep him alive. This is why I say this moment gets pretty chaotic. Got it! Nice! My evac wing has arrived. Thank you, Brigadier. Without you, all of my brave comrades would have been lost. And now only most of them have been lost. I think I told you before, Marshal Nova. You can call me Betty. 
You're safe for now. But soon you will learn that there's no escape from my righteous entrance, my fleeing thunder foes. Also, I don't think our tanks are going to fit in there, so I guess they're on their own. Yeah, figured as much. We did lose a bunch of Tundrans, and I think also Tundran troops count as your technique for this level. Ah, well. How are we doing so far in terms of... Uh, I don't think... I think we actually would need to get an S rank on both this and the final mission for the campaign to get the bonus mission. Which is actually kind of a blessing in disguise if I don't get it, because I really, really, really do not like that mission. This mission, however, is actually another one of my favorites. I would say each campaign actually does have a mission that I, like, love to no end, and this would have to be the Dune Seas one for me. Salutations, Commander. Your primary objective for this mission is to capture the enemy-held neuroscite field. First things first. Aim to destroy the gunships and their pilots while they are still grounded. This is your secondary objective. Then make your way across the river and join up with the Frontier Mechanized Division. It's a good thing no one saw the helicopter drop us off. Assault the enemy airdrome, Commander. Then cross the river and meet up with the Frontier Mechanized Division. Wake up, indolent fools! The Frontier has begun its counterattack! Alright, come on, guys. Don't let the Exrobanian pilots man their gunships, Commander. This will compromise the primary objective. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. How close is the... Those reinforcements are... Oh, yeah, they are almost here. All right, let's see if we can get one more gunship, and then we'll make a run for it. The enemy is reinforcing the aerodrome. Destroy as many gunships as you can. Then proceed to the next... Oh, stop. boy, here they come. All right, come on, guys. It's time to run. You should traverse the river using the bridge up ahead. Enemy tanks are close. The bridge is damaged, Commander. Put the pedal to the metal. It appears the rest of your strike force will have to swim. Run away, little mouse. Kitty shall always catch you in the end. Yeah, there have been times where I've been too greedy and actually did get the entire strike team killed. But those guys should be fine at this point. Now have command of your very own gunships, Commander. Wow, I forgot how long it takes for you to spin. actually get a a grunt in this mission. Deploy your gunships against the enemy rocket troopers waiting up ahead. All right, well, I still can't attack with this thing, so yeah, there's a battalion, and there should be grunts in it. Yep, there they are. Any time now, guys. I see that rocket trooper. That's a tank! That's a tank!
I have no idea what my gunship is doing at this moment. I'm gonna guess probably just enjoying the show. Alright, Commander. Time to join forces with your infantry division. Head for the What is going on with this thing? Uh oh okay, there we go. There we go, finally. Back in my comfort zone. The enemy just shot down our tea copter. The Exylvanians must have anti-air vehicles forward of our position. All right, let's see. A, 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 heavy, heavy. There's only two AAs. I thought there was like a third one. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna have to rely on the gunship and the tanks to take out any vehicles, because I have no bazooka vets for this mission. I know you need ice cream, dude. We'll get you ice cream after the war is over. They just like sticking close to their commander dragon. Didn't you know that? What are you guys even... Oh, God. Oh, my God. This this is just embarrassing. Just... Yeah, just get the jerry can. I swear. I can't take you guys anywhere. This bridge leads to the extraction facility. It's a uh, it's advanced combat maneuvers. It's called serpentine. We meet again, Colonel Austin. All right. This time I have prepared a warm welcome for you. All right, there we go. That's taken care of. Tread carefully, Commander. The extraction facility is heavily fortified with machine gun bunkers. And that is why I am sending in the gunship. Maybe. Uh, I think the pilot might be drunk, though. What, what? What is going on with my gunship? I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the show. game looks so derpy in all the best ways. That's one of the reasons why I love Battalion Wars. It, it, it's so cartoonishly uh, ridiculous, even though sometimes the characters can actually get pretty serious, that you, you just can't help but love it. Hell, originally the alpha build of this game didn't even have like a goofy cartoonish style to it. It actually did have like a, like a at the time, serious tone to it. Which, if you want to know what it looks like, just look up Advanced Wars Under Fire, because this actually was originally going to be, like, a straight-up Advanced Wars game. Hi! But I actually do enjoy this style a bit more. But I would love to see if I could get a, a like, a... Like, a copy of the, the original alpha of it. Alright, gunship ship is not moving. Uh, heavy tank, heavy tank. I feel like I'm gonna get flanked as soon as I go up there. I have no choice. I would use the gunship, but there's still the anti-air vehicle in there. So let's see if we can actually get the tanks to maybe mortar these things from afar. Or they can shoot the wrong thing. Alright, whatever. You guys stay there. Actually, I'm going to keep the whole battalion right there. And I'm going to send the gunship to take care of the tank that's down this way so it does not sneak up behind us. 
I mean, hey, Dinosaur Planet got leaked, so it's not out of the realm of possibility. Yeah, I, I know that. I actually want to try and see if I can get Dinosaur Planet running since, you know, we did stream Star Fox Adventures last year. I would love to see what the alpha build of that game looked like and how it played. All right. Uh, well, that tank pilot is clearly drunk. And it looks like that one's actually trying to sneak up behind us as well. Watch as my tanks just creep through the desert. Let's see if I can get this thing... Alright, yeah. Come over here. Come on, come on. We're not going to hurt you much. Alright, get, get the gunship. <laughs> I forgot... That, that's also another one of my favorite lines from the Dune Sea cam campaign of Neurosite. That sounds like some kind of eye ointment. God, the grunts have so many good lines in this. Oh, hey. Who's shooting at me? Oh, it's the anti-air. To capture the Neurosite field, you must seize control of all three capture points. Come on, boys. Ah, yes, the birth of the old man, me. How could we forget? Actually, I think that was all the AA in this area, so we can bring the gunship in, no problem. Now there's one AA st sticking right outside there. I like that moon's just like, don't you dare, you know what'll happen. Moon, you say that like it's a bad I thing. Use them to hold the Neurosite fields. At once, Herr Kaiser, I will not Get out of here. You a second time. Oh, that guy's coming in fast. Come on, come on, take out that anti-air. Okay, it's actually Bravo. safe to bring that in now. The new site fields are now ours for the taking. Alright. Take out the tank, and we are basically in the goal. There there is another tank. I'm about ready to lose all my tanks as well. Hang on, I'll, I'll talk about the plot as soon as we, uh... Really? Alright, fine, whatever. I'll talk about the plot once we're done with the mission, that way I know I'm in the clear. Oh god, there's another tank! Oh god, nope, we got snuck up on. I'm just gonna bring the troops around this way. Don't mind me. You guys go and get the capture point. Ooh, that was close. That's nice going, guys. Incompetent fools! How dare you let those inferior specimens get the better of you! Good job, Commander. By capturing and holding this base, we have cut one of the enemy's primary lines of supply. Ah, uh, yep, our first C rank. Power was good! Technique was garbage, though. It's because of those two heavy tanks that snuck up on me. I think those are the ones that were by those oil rigs. Or near sight rigs, I guess. Or drills, or whatever you want to call them. Alright, so... The plot of this game is... Basically, starts out... Uh, the Tundran Territories and the Western Frontier are at odds with each other. Or, if you want to go by this, uh, not Russia and not America... It was basically like a Cold War style thing. 
So they invade the frontier. You have to push them back. And it turns out that one of the leaders of the Tundrans went to the Exylvanians, which is not Germany, uh, for help to fight against the frontier. So during the final mission of the Tundran campaign, the Exylvanians decided, you know what? No, we're not going to help you. We're actually going to take advantage of the fact that you two have been fighting each other for so long. And we're just going to declare war, war on both of you. So they do that. They attack both our armies. So in this case, we uh, agreed to a truce to fight back against the Exylvanians. And that's basically what we're doing right now. If we do make decent time, we might actually be able to finish up the Coral Atolls as well. And I think uh, we'll probably finish up the Coral Atolls, and then we will call it for tonight. Because I don't know if we're going to be able to finish the final campaign. The enemy's primary neurosite extraction facility is just north of our position, Commander. Yeah, basically, Dragon. Before we attack, we're going to have to neutralize their anti-air defenses. You will then receive clearance to deploy a Frontier Bomber and precision strike those extraction towers. Believe it or not, the sequel to this game Remember, actually gets even more we ridiculous. We the enemy's anti-air defenses before we can bomb those towers. Alright, I need to remember the layout of this area. Uh, let's see. Miniguns, heavy tanks, rocket, rocket, rocket. And I think, yeah, the AA vets are all by the stars, so we are safe to bring the gunship in for a good bit. Alright, boys. Go get him. What is this? Such a small force will never penetrate Uber's defenses. I swear, if one more of my grunts during this campaign says that he wants ice cream, I am turning this army right around and we are going back to the frontier. What is this tent made out of? There we go. Rockets. There's a heavy tank over there. I might have to use mortars to take it out, though, because it's a little close to those AA troops. And there's a lot of them over there. Holy hell. So my friend Huggy liked the countermeasures you made me, and now my friend Matt is making his own with the one that you did for you as his reference. I'm, I'm curious to see what they come up with. All right, and there's two over there, so we should be good. Frontier dogs, what are they doing? Those emplacements are no threat to an attack from the ground. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, guys, you might want to take care of that. Actually, might have to call in a danger close attack. It's risky, but if I can get the gunships out in time, I should be able to keep them alive. All right, get those gunships away. Hi. Two down, three more on the play sheet. 
All right. Uh, it's one up there. I don't think there's any tanks until we get to the bridge. Yeah, there's two heavy tanks that come across it. Uber's heavy tank battalion will soon put an end to your fun and games. And I think they're coming this way right now. All right, gunships are still good at least. We kind of went around the entire reinforcement battalion. Whoops. All right. Oh, fine by me. Another of Uber's anti-air emplacements is destroyed. The enemy's tactics are most strange. Your stupidity knows no bounds, Commander Uber. They are clearing a path for an airstrike on the extraction towers. This might be a problem. Yep, they're just staying down there like, uh, hey, wasn't there supposed to be frontier units that we were supposed to attack? Alright, good. I'll have to pay, uh, play the, the baiting game. that. Get him. Did I hear another trooper say that he wanted ice cream? Let's take it out, and then the real fun begins. I didn't think of this. I thought I automatically had to control the bombers, but no. But you are nothing but a disappointment to me. Your words cut like daggers, mein Kaiser. Please forgive Uber. Right. What is the silver star? Oh, I think it wants me to take control of the bomber for Mother's the silver. Brain. They work on that. Let's make our way to the next tower. Uh, what's the fastest way? Fastest way is to the left. 
up and around and oh man can i even get through that area that looks like it might be a gate but at the same time it could also just be a wall oh, and there's heavy tanks all over the place as well Let's see rockets rockets rifles i just need to get the get in close enough to direct the bombers so shouldn't have to worry about any of the troops around it We must defend those towers! Dispatch Gotha Squadron immediately! Pennsylvanian fighters? Our bomber is defenseless against them! Not so, Brigadier. Tundra's finest pilots will protect you until your mission is complete. Zar Gorgi? I thought you were in exile. Ah, oh, shit. They're actually... Oh, man, they're going after the bombers big time. Alright, come on. Why is it not letting me targeting the towers? Oh, dear. Now, we're about to lose a bomber. There we go. Uh, let's see. I think, yeah, there's still two fighters up here. The Thunderings are doing a decent job of keeping them off my... Never mind. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted it to attack the tower. That's it. I'm turning this battalion around. Bingo! Just one more extraction tower left on the scorecard. Condition red. The enemy is attacking the extraction towers. Shoot that bomber down. Uh, damn, that is a wall, not a gate. Uh, I got a long ways to go. Alright, thankfully, the Tundrans seem to have taken care of all the Exylvanian fighters, which is good. Because now there's nothing to uh, go after my bomber, but I've still got a hike ahead of me. I really wish that was a gate. Just made my job that much easier, but no. TBG has to go the long way to get up to the extraction tower. Why was my bomber flashing? Is there... Did it collide with the Tundra fighter or something? All right, you know what? I'm. What? Okay. Oh, don't do that to me, game. You can't give me a heart attack like this. I think what I have no idea what that grunt said. What is what is going on with my bomber? Oh, 
I need to finish this mission up fast before I lose it. Alright, while the tanks, or while the gunships take care of the tank, bomber, you go after that. Timing is going to be absolutely garbage for this mission. Gunships, why don't you provide more support? Where's everybody else? I have no idea what shot down that gunship. I think it might have collided with something. Oh, hi. Nice of you guys to finally join me. That tank is dead right. There we go. Alright, one more pass should do it. Did it. You've reduced the Kaiser's primary neurocyte extraction facility to rubble and ruins. But we couldn't have done it without Gorgi. Better contact Marshal Nova and let him know his father has returned. What have you done with the Tsar? I let him go. Kaiser Vlad sends his regards. Son, you must understand. I acted in the best interests of the Tundran Empire. <clears throat> I know. Ugh, God, that speed hurts. The things I do for a challenge. Alright, let's start the Coral Atoll campaign. Accepted by the Exylvanians. And so the cult Mariah will let the novel steal their ideas. What now? We engage the enemy. If we are to have peace, we must fight for it. It pleases me when you are assertive, Colonel Officer. <laughs> don't don't worry. It, it the music has thrown me off multiple times in the past. But until you see the boys pop up playing their drums and uh, trumpets, then nope, no sub. Greetings, Commander, and welcome to the Coral Atoll. 
This is Beachy Point Island. We are here to put a stop to Kaiser Vlad's invasion of the Solar Empire. The survivors of the Frontier's expeditionary force are also waiting to be rescued. Unfortunately, Vlad has this island extremely well fortified. God damn it, Dragon! Your battalion will be assaulting entrenched positions, so use your mortar vents to flush the enemy out of Thank cover. you for the gift sub. I'm waiting for someone to do that Ready, as it plays now, in the game to throw me off. It would have been more impactful if naval units were retained in this game, but they weren't until the sequel! Press on, Commander. Only relentless force will win this day. Gun them down, my loyal foot soldiers. Beachy Point belongs to Exylvania now. Alright, come on, boys, push through. Deploy your tanks to destroy the Exylvanian artillery, but beware of Vlad's rocket troopers. I was about to open my big mouth and say, I'm surprised we haven't lost a trooper yet. And then, of course, as soon as I was about to say it, uh, we lose two. What's the most video gamey game I played? Hmm. Oh, God, there's like a full battalion behind us. Command wants your battalion to continue its advance and capture the helipad marked by the silver star. Give me a second. Need to take out this guy. Defend the landing platform. These front of maggots must not be permitted to send for reinforcements. All right. Uh, most video gamey game I've played. Hmm. Like, what are we talking about in terms of video gamey dragon? Well, we'll do, let's see, acid gas, so send the tanks in. Like, it screams it's a video game. Hmm. I would say... I, I don't want to say exactly what it is because it's a spoiler for what uh, is one of the choices for next game from visuals music etc I really don't want to say it because it actually is a choice for next month's game clearing but I'm gonna say that game oh god oh no this is bad this is bad everybody fall back tanks you can take care of it oh god everything's green How did we not lose anyone? That is ridiculous. Hi. What are you still doing alive? Good job, Commander. You have eliminated the helipad garrison. Now raise the frontier flag. How long is this take? No, it just ended, buddy. I can now send in reinforcements. All right, let's wait for the reinforcements to get here. Is to assault and capture Vlad's fortress. Head for the gold star. How? Oh, you're doing pretty bad. Unfortunately, Vlad has a strato destroyer circling overhead. Missile vets are amongst the survivors of the expeditionary force. They are being held in a POW camp marked by the silver star. Uh, there's a bit of a drop there, buddy. You might not want to get the tank out there. <laughs> okay, it works. Yes, Interfigure. That is the most video gamey game that I've ever played. Also, hi, how's it going? Welcome to the stream.
That's a tank. Oh, boy. All right, you guys shoot at me, not them. Oh, why are you guys following me? You fools! Oh, you might want that jerry can that's right next to me, buddy. Jeez. Uh, Alright, go for that jerry can first. Ah, uh, no, these are mortars. Crap. Really did not want to see the POWs. Alright, so far so good. Dragon, you can get a lot of use out of that uh, Dio No emote. <laughs> just every time there's a war is hell moment, you can just start throwing that in chat. There's a tank up there. <laughs> HT is so cursed. Intelligence update. Vlad is holding two of our fighters in his fortress. If you free the pilot, we should be able to even up the odds. Ooh, there's a lot of troops coming around after us. Uh, crap, we are kind of pincered. Alright, so let's see. Three MG towers right there. Grunts and bazookas in there. There's an artillery piece right there, which is weird. And we got enemies coming from behind. And we got a tank coming from us on the front. Ow. Alright, good. Bad news, Commander. Vlad is about to commit his strato destroyer to the fray. <laughs> Who keeps tooting that damn trumpet? Enemy gunships incoming, Commander. They must be the vanguard of Vlad's airborne assault. Shoot Crap. them down. Ah oh, man, we're losing tanks left and right. Oh boy! Where's those gunships coming from? I don't see them. Nope. Don't piss it off. All right. We'll make a stand in here. Excellent work, Commander. You freed the frontier pilot. Now get those fighters airborne. ASAP. Fighters are the fastest of all airborne combat vehicles. But the heat seeking missiles. Oh god, oh god! Oh, I kinda feel bad for that grunt. As with gunships, you must press and hold the R button and tilt the control stick if you wish to adjust your altitude. Crap. Jeez, they are relentless. Wait, no. 
Now, that is Curse Dragon. How dare you compare this, this game to that. Alright, where's the Strato at? Oh, we lost a fighter? What? Back the enemy Strato destroyer. There it is. Clear the skies, Commander. I think I need to hop into the fighter before it would pop in. Oh shit, there's a uh, artillery. The Strato Destroyer's primary fuel tank is located in its rear section. Now you know where to aim, Commander. Strato should be going down any second. There we go. And we're done. Whew. Frontier's first successful engagement against an enemy Strato destroyer. If I know the Kaiser, he'll be furious. Congratulations, Commander. You have recaptured Beachy Point and liberated the survivors of the expeditionary force. The loss of this island is of no consequence to me. Exulvania shall prevail. It is our destiny! Uh, yeah, after losing all those troops from that one uh, major screw up. Yeah, I kind of figured I'd be getting a C. Although that power is pretty nice, though. Sorry, I was—I uh, didn't realize people could hear it. I was just uh, responding to something. Head hut, Commander. North of our position are three Exylvanian military targets. Our munitions dumped. A fuel refinery. And a communications tower. Captured Frontier Missile and Bazooka Veterans are being held in these installations. Missile and Bazooka Vets shows a Solar Empire Assault Vet. And a POWs with Silver Stars. Now get to it, Commander. Also, welcome to the other mission that is a co-op mission in the in the sequel. Understood. Greetings, General Herman. The Solar Empire comes to its new ally with a special request. What is it, Empire? Shit, those are rockets. Frontier always does whatever it can for its pilots. A handful of my loyal Solar warriors have been exposed to the dishonor of capture by the enemy. 
Ma'am, it'll be our pleasure. Commander, consider those soul POWs another secondary objective. I have no idea what that vet said. I, seeing as how I'm mostly focusing with the rest of the battalion with the grunts and such, I hope we get my favorite line in this entire campaign. And hell, even in this entire game, where there is one grunt who really wants the rest of the battalion to see this monkey that he sees out in the wild. Closing in on the communications tower that controls the gunships in this quadrant. Like, there's three different voice lines uh, that talk about him just really wanting to show the entire battalion this monkey. Ah, cr Don't crap. let appearances deceive you, Commander. Alright, get below him. Enemy patrols. Use your mortar troops to eliminate them. All right, you know what? It's gonna take forever, especially since we just lost a trooper. All right, watch tower. You gotta go. This puny battalion dares to assault. Uber. Communications tower! Gunships! Attack! And I'm dead. No, my Game Boy! Oh, well, that was a mess. And I've almost lost all my grunts. What the hell are you two doing? Just run all over the place. The communications tower is in enemy hands. Call in the reinforcements. Hello? Hello? Tower is ours, but we still gotta destroy the munitions dump and capture the fuel refinery. Okay, how do I want to go about this? Uh, here's. Hey, they got watchtowers on all four corners. Let's see, heavy recon, those will come down to reinforce that place as soon as I attack. Hmm. And of course, the bazooka vets are all the way in the back there. And just, I guess I could go this way, go around, and maybe try to save the Solar Empire troops because they do have a tank available for us, along with assault vets, but at the same time, I'd have to deal with enemy tanks, and seeing as how I don't have bazooka vets, that's going to make things a lot harder for me. We're now approaching the fuel refinery that supplies Exylvanian attack vehicles throughout the Coral Atoll. Oh, there it is. Patrol and Exylvanian gunships watch over the fuel refinery at all times. The enemy approaching. Get to your position. Man the tower. There we go, finally. <sighs> Damn it, that was that was one of my vets in the game. I had to look over instinctively to see oh was someone hosting. And now you know the origins of the host alert. All right, that should be everything. I had to open my big mouth. Alright, just ignore- Ah, oh, crap, I just realized I don't have any more grunts! If I lose this guy, I have to redo the mission.
There we go. there's any more gunships so we don't have to worry about the missile vets the biggest threat now is going to be getting past this tower because it has free reign to attack us and I don't think anyone aside from me controlling the bazooka vets gonna do anything against it this is the munitions dump commander you gotta destroy the weapon stockpile but watch out for the enemy MG. No, nope, not the grunt. Get the tank. Man the heavy recons. Attack immediately. All right, let's get some reinforcements. You have my eternal gratitude, General. Your pretty explosions are like fireworks on Exylvania Day. But wait, those are Vlad's favorite missiles. No. <laughs> I love that. No. Get it, Commander. But I got some bad news. Frontier Command reports an entire division of Exylvanian troops approaching. Jeez, how many tanks are in this place? The Frontier Dogs have made Ubers very angry! Head to the extraction point marked on your radar, Commander. Double time! Alright, who needs health? Everybody good? Alright. So far, it looks like all the assault vets as commander. well. Now get back and finish what you started. Wait. What? Guys, what just happened? Do you have any idea? What about you? Alright, well, let's just keep moving forward then. I wasn't out of bounds or anything, unless... No, I wasn't out of bounds. Is my recon stuck? I think my recon is stuck. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Serpentine. Really wish we could send the Solar Empire troops in there. Oh, now the recon decides to show up. Alright, you guys might want to focus on the tank instead. Oh no, oh no! And we're done. You made it, Commander! Phew. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? <laughs> It is only a matter of time before Vlad demotes him to the rank of boot polisher. Wow, I am surprised we got an A rank, especially since we lost all my grunts. Well, all but me, but still. I think speed is what saved us there. Had I been any slower, I probably would have been... Knocked down to a B rank. Alright. Oh, call sign Eagle. Alright, awesome. I'm actually going to take a small break because we've been going for three, almost three and a half hours now. 
So I'm going to step away for the moment, go get some water, and when I get back, we shall hopefully finish up the Coral Atoll campaign and probably call it for tonight. Because it's getting pretty late, and I feel like by the time we get done, especially the last two levels after Call Sign Eagle, it's going to be a real chore to get through. But alright, I will see you all in just a little bit. Where's my water?
All right, I'm back. How's everybody doing? It's time to continue from where we left off. And we get to start my all-time favorite mission in the game. This one's going to be a challenge to do, well, the challenge with, seeing as how this one restricts you to only use an air units in it. So, as I said before, when it comes to forced vehicle missions, I'm allowed to pilot the vehicles, but I cannot attack morning, any enemies man. in them. And welcome to Operation Neptune. You're just in time for the briefing. General Herman is about to lead a battalion of hand-picked men on a ground assault of the Aloha Atoll. Your job is to provide Herman's men with air support as they recapture the island on behalf of our sole ally. Herman's men will assault the beach, then follow the road to the Exylvanian base. During this time, you will need to provide air cover against all credible threats. Good luck, Commander. All right, let's do this. Are you attempting to take me by surprise, my frontier foes? You should know by now that I can predict your every move. Exylvanian transport copters are delivering reinforcements to the island. Shoot them down before they can land. Unfortunately, I can't do anything. And I think we all... Alright, check out that one up there at least. Oh dear. Disappointing, Commander. You only prevented one out of four Exylvanian T-copters from reinforcing the garrison. I know, I'm sorry. Come in, Eagle One! My boys are about ready to get their feet wet! How are things holding together at Strategic Air Command? <sighs> this might be a problem... We won't let you down, Buffalo 2. Quickly, Commander. Use your fighters to clear the skies of Exylvanian bombers. I might actually... Uh, I really don't want to break my rule because I really want to see if I can do this challenge. Mission's not going to be easy. Where the hell is my fighter at? T-copter, T-copter. There it is. My entire squadron of bombers is destroyed. Your good fortune cannot last, Commanders. Exylvania shall prevail. Nice work, Eagle One. My boys have secured the beach and are now headed to their designated capture points. Good job, Commander. I'm deploying some frontier bombers to provide additional support. Fire. Unleash an artillery barrage that will drive the enemy back into the sea. Looks like those bombers arrived just in time. Use them to take out that Exylvanian artillery. Yeah, that, that fighter's doing nothing to that watchtower. We got Exylvania tanks up ahead. Where's that air support, Eagle One? You heard the man, Commander. Neutralize those tanks from above. Alright, I need to get those gunships freed. Otherwise, those tanks are going to be a bit of a problem. There we go. The 
Frontier gunships are back in play, Commander. Use them to clear the road of Exylvanian MG nets. First things first, I need them to clear the way for these tanks! Herbert, what are you even doing down there? And there go my bombers. Crap. I'm going down. I'm going down. got six men left here commander where is that air support asleep apparently and I'm down your air squadron has been destroyed mission failed oh uh, this is where the fun begins I can feel it Alright, so don't waste sending the fighters after the uh after the watchtower. I need to send them to take care of the bombers and also take care of all these fighters that keep harassing me. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. But I think we can still pull it off without me technically breaking the rules. Good morning, Commander, and welcome. All right, I'm gonna have to do my best to focus on taking out one transport at a time. Are you attempting to take me by surprise, my frontier foes? You should know by now that I can predict your every move. I have one go after the fighter, though. Are delivering reinforcements to the island. Shoot them down before they can land. Come on, seriously, guys. Disappointing, Commander. You only prevented one out of four Exylvanian T-copters from reinforcing the garrison. Oh, my other pilots were asleep at the in the cockpit, so I couldn't really do much. How are things holding together at Strategic Air Command? We won't let you down, Buffalo Two. Quickly, Commander. Use your fighters to clear the skies of Exylvanian bombers. Wow, these fighters really like to harass you. My entire squadron of bombers is destroyed. Your good fortune cannot last, Commanders. Exylvania shall prevail. Nice work, Eagle One. My boys have secured the beach and are now headed to their designated capture points. Good job, Commander. I'm deploying some frontier bombers to provide additional support. Fire. Unleash an artillery barrage that will drive the enemy back into the sea. Looks like those bombers arrived just in time. 
use them to take out that Exylvanian artillery. Damn. I got too reckless. And I don't know if there's another fighter out here. We got Exylvania tanks up ahead. Where's that air support, Eagle One? You heard the man, Commander. Neutralize those tanks from above. Frontier gunships are back in play, Commander. Use them to clear the road of Exylvanian MG nets. Battalion is down to ten men, Commander. I need you to stay focused on your primary objectives. I only got six men left here, Commander. Where is that air support? Uh, shot down. Crap. Get it. My battalion is down to three men, Commander. You ain't making my job any easier. I know. And we might be losing those three men as well. Did he? Oh my god, please tell me they got it. Okay, they got it. Only one man left, Commander. Let's hope he's one heck of a soldier. Something tells me he... Yep, he's not. Herman's ground battalion has been wiped out. Mission failed. Oh, this... Damn you restrictions! Alright, so... When I attack that uh, little drop zone for the Exylvanians, I gotta take out that MG nest or else his troops get ripped to shreds. Good morning, Commander. All right. And welcome. Uh, we're at 116. I'll give us a few more tries and see if we can get through this. Are you attempting to take me by surprise, my frontier foes? You should know by now that I can predict your every move. Exylvanian transport copies why, are why is it all the way over here? The island. Shoot them down before they can land. This is most unsatisfactory, Commander. All four of the Exylvanian T-Copters were successful in reinforcing the garrison. 
Come in, Eagle One. My boys are about ready to get their Jeez. power things holding together at Strategic Air Command. He was ready for me. Holy hell. We won't let you down, Buffalo Two. Quickly, Commander. Use your fighters to clear the skies of Exylvanian bombers. Fighter is really starting to get on my nerves. My entire squadron of bombers is destroyed. Your good fortune cannot last, Commanders. Exylvania shall prevail. Uh. Have secured the beach and are now headed to their designated capture points. Good job, Commander. I'm deploying some frontier. Oh, bombers there goes. Mm. Fire! Unleash an artillery barrage that will drive the enemy back into the sea. Great. Now I can't do anything with. Looks like those bombers arrived just in time. Use them to take out that Exylvanian artillery. All I can really do is just fly around and hope for the best. All right, there's the grunts. Can't do it now. <sighs> All right, one more try, and then we'll probably call it here because I'm gonna need to do some thinking on how I'm gonna get through this mission. Good morning, Commander, and welcome. To I got flung so far away, it, it completely threw off my attack. Are you attempting to take me by surprise, my frontier foes? You should know by now that I can predict your every move. Exylvanian transport copters are delivering reinforcements to the island. Shoot them down before they can land. My entire squadron of bombers is destroyed. Your good fortune cannot last, Commanders. Exylvania shall prevail. Nice work, Eagle One. My boys have secured the beach and are now headed to their designated capture point. Good job, Commander. I'm deploying some frontier bombers to provide additional support. 
fire. Unleash an artillery barrage that will drive the enemy back into the sea. Looks like those bombers arrived just in time. Use them to take out that Exylvanian artillery. Alright. Let's keep these bombers safe. I heard a fighter around here somewhere. There he is. Nope, not the watchtower. Where's that? Where did that fighter go? Alright, there's one. Alright, seriously, why are you having so much trouble with one measly piece of artillery? It's such a bad angle. I can't, can't get the bombers to attack, attack it in the right way. I need those gunships. I think that did it. Still no acknowledgement. Frontier gunships and their pilots are being held in an Exylvanian POW. There we go, finally. Jeez. The Frontier gunships are back in play, Commander. Use them to clear the road of Exylvanian MG nets. There go the tanks. All right, now to clear out the nests. The bombers can work on the artillery. All right, I just need to check. Also to clear my head of all, all that buzzing sounds, but it looks like we're still good on... You know what? I need I need to be a gunship for this. Come on, come on. Damn! Herman's ground battalion has been wiped out. Mission failed. Alright. We were actually doing pretty decent. Alright. I said I was going to give it one more go, but I think we could possibly do this. I know what I need to do now. As soon as I get to this segment, I have to be a gunship to coordinate better. So, we'll do one more. It's do or die time, people. Good morning, Commander, and welcome to... Alright, yep. Are you a 
attempting to take me by surprise, my front your foes? You should know by now that I can predict your every move. Exylvanian transport copters are delivering reinforcements to the island. Shoot them down before they can land. Sorry about the vertigo moon. All right, got one at least. Commander. You only prevented one out of four Exophanian T-copters from reinforcing the garrison. Come in, Eagle One. My boys are about ready to get their feet wet. How are things holding together? All right, I need to take care of the fighters first. We won't let you down, Buffalo Two. Quickly, Commander. Use your fighters to clear oh, Blink Tetris. I thought it was with all the flying I'm doing. Alright, there's one bomber, and there's number two. Is destroyed. Your good fortune cannot last, Commanders. Exylvania shall prevail. Come on, they need those bombers. Austin. Nice work, Eagle One. My boys have secured the beach and are now headed to their designated capture point. Good job, Commander. I'm deploying some frontier bombers to provide additional support. Fire! Unleash an artillery barrage that will drive the enemy back into the streets. Ooh, that's bad. Looks like those bombers arrived just in time. Use them to take out that Exylvanian artillery. I need them to hit that MG nest. We got Exylvania tanks up ahead. Where's that air support, Eagle One? You heard the man, Commander. Neutralize those tanks from above. All right, third gunships. Now for this. The frontier gunships are back in play, Commander. Use them to clear the road of Exylvanian MG nets. Time for some command.
to start working on those MG nests. Already, oh, I can't. Man, these guys move fast. Blare those trumpets. That should do it for that. I suggest you find those cheat copters and bring them down. My men have seized the first capture point. Only two to go. Oh no, you get out of here. I'm not letting you harass these air units anymore. I'll send a strato after it as well, just in case. So many fighters. Out oh, there goes my bomber. Turn it to our solar empire allies, General Herman. Goes without saying, Colonel. What do you think I am? Some kind of war hungry maniac with delusions of grandeur? Oh, that's a strato. The thought had crossed my mind, General. The thought had crossed my And there goes a the fighter. Fortunately for you, it is the ace of spades. Damn. We've got an Exobanian Strato Destroyer incoming. This skirmish just escalated to the next level. Alright, thankfully, fighters are back. Another Strato Destroyer? Looks like Kaiser Vlad doesn't take kindly to defeat. The Master Tactician always holds a little something in reserve. You agree, Colonel Austin? Alright, everybody take out that Strato. Take direct control of our Strato Destroyer and engage the enemy. your courage commander you must be turned to the battlefield at once easier said than done Austin I can't see ah these fighters piss me off All 
Alright, there's one. Alright, where is that other strato? There it is. And it's too high up, I can't target it. Oh no! Who knows how many more fighters I have in reserve. I gotta take this thing out fast. Come on. We're so close to the end. Come on, you got this, buddy. You got this. Come on. No! Crap. Of course the strato is so close to death, eh? But I'm out of fighters. I only got six men left here, Commander. Where is that air support? Ah, the hell with it. I did my best, but I couldn't risk doing this mission again. Herman, your job is done. That is ridiculous, but that technique terrifies me. Speed was also still pretty decent, which I find ridiculous. Alright. Yep, there's the strato. Alright, that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for tonight because we are coming up on time. And I doubt we're going to be able to finish the, the last two missions for the sol uh yeah for the solar empire um, uh, solar empire campaign so i think what we'll do is next week we will finish this and if people would like i could possibly jump into battalion wars 2 and continue the challenge into that i'll, I'll see what the people think but for now let's go to intermission Maybe. There we go. Alright. Well, uh, I really wish I it didn't have to come to that with Call Sun Eagle. I feel like some people might get mad that I actually did attack, but I just... It was either that or replay the mission again, which... I don't know. Maybe I'll replay the mission when we start back up next week and see if I can actually do it properly and, you know, not attack, period. Sorry about that. Uh, but, yeah, I've been really enjoying this challenge. It's really made the game even more intense than it usually is, and I gotta say, I'm having a good time with it. I'm having a great time with it. It's one of my favorite games, so of course I would. I might actually return to this at some point and try the no attack challenge and have to just attack by sending my troops to do it, but we'll see. All right. For now, at least, let us go and see who we can send a raid to. Uh, let's see. No, not that. Unfortunately, nobody else is playing Battalion Wars right now. I guess when all else fails, I can always send some support John's way. I'm 
not seeing anyone else who we can uh, raid right now. Oh. Did he actually finish it? Yep, looks like it. Alright, well, whatever. We'll, we'll still send a raid John's way. And we are going to go ahead... Oops. That's not what it was supposed to do. Hold on. gonna go raid John he's playing Metroid Prime uh, 1 right now it looks like he just finished up the game so he's looking at the bonus content that you get for 100% I wonder if he's actually gonna show off the fusion suit in that game hmm we'll see uh, we're gonna read with hashtag I need ice cream because my boys they're putting in a lot of hard work they really need that ice cream all right I will see you all tomorrow for the end of Link to the Past, and then if we actually do finish that at a decent time, most likely we're gonna just do some ninjala, maybe with the chat, maybe with the community, and all that stuff. But that's where we're gonna end it off tonight. Hope you all had fun. I'm sure have been having a blast. Thank you once again, Raiders, for coming by. Thank you, Dragon, again, for all the support he's been sending my way tonight. I will see you all tomorrow for the end of Link to the Past. Good night, everybody. Oh, my God!